Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm Abdul Adam from Data Analytica. In this video, I want to show us how we can create profile on Google Scholar and also how we can add our paper on Google Scholar. So the first thing you do, you go to google.com. Once you open Google, the first item that appears on your search button, Google Scholar, you click it. Then you have this interface. Now on this page, you can see this is Google Scholar. Here it's showing my profile, my library, and signing. Now if you have not signed in, you cannot have a profile. You cannot have also have anything under my library so if i click my profile it will ask me to log in so it's showing my account so that is one way we can log in the other way we can log in is you say sign in you click sign in so once we click sign in to bring you back to the same page so here you log in with uh, your account and ensure that you have a google account a gmail account so if it is an institutional account first you log in with your google account so i'm going to log in with this my account since i don't have a google scholar profile on it now i'm logged in you can see clearly here i'm logged in here so here now if you want to create the account you click on my profile and by clicking on my profile you fill in the information so where they say name you fill your name so dr dul adam affiliation masara state then your email for verification so you input your institutional email institutional email so if you don't have institutional email you can leave this space vacant so i'll put my institutional email then your area of interest then the home page for your school so here www so what I do that ng so then you now click next you now it's the it has opened so it will take you to this now you can click on my profile so once you click on your profile you see if you have papers online already you will see them here this is my own profile and everything is showing here now I want to use this my profile to demonstrate how we can add paper first you if you want to add paper before then the it will ask you to verify your email it's going to send you an email into your institutional email account so you go there follow the link and verify the email once you have done that it will show verify email at unso the, uh, your institution so it will show like that now once you have done that it will open now I'm going to show us how we can add our how we can add our papers on the Google Scholar so you click this plus sign here now it's saying add article group add articles add article manual configure article update so if you have article group online you can click add article group it will search and show whether where your names are so you can see this article i have article group 16 in profile 26 article so i can click here and add those articles are already on my system so i don't need to put it 
the second thing we can do is add article now when you go to add article assuming you have published paper with someone who is on google scholar you can search for your article by either putting your name so for instance i put my name dr abdul adamu i can search so once i search these are articles that are showing abdul adamu so these articles the one that is graded out are my article that are already on in on my profile so these ones are article that is suggesting that is carrying the same name with my name so if i check it and i see that i have an article like that which uh, did not appear for instance inflation rate and stock return this is article that i published with uh, professor bandy so all you do you click on the article you can see this uh, blue here then you use this arrow to continue to search you continue to search whether you have any article online so this there are names so all these article they are not my article so let me add the one that i that i clicked so you go here and click it once you click it it will add it article added article to your profile so when you come down you will see the article uh, inflation rate and stock return in nigeria by bandit look at the article i just added but i already have this article here so that is why it wasn't showing before so i'm going to click it and delete it so once you check any of the article you can delete it you can export it you can merge it so i can click it and click this and merge it since they are the same article select the web version of the article so i'm going to merge it with the first one so click merge so i've made the two articles so the other one will, is not going to be appearing any longer now the another way you can add article is you can add article manually so if you click here you now impute all the information the title of the article the name of the author the publication date the journal the volume the issue you populate all the information here and you click this and the article will be added automatically so those are the ways we can do this and if you want you have seen any article here that is added to you that it is not your article you can check it once we check the article you can go here and delete it so or if you see article you have published and is duplicating you can check the article once you check the article you can now merge them together like i demonstrated earlier so you can view your trash article you have deleted if you click this ellipsis you can view the trash and check whether to undo it or to delete it permanently so those are the ways we can add our article now if you want to insert your profile picture you just click on the picture then it will take you to where you have files or you check where you have files whether it's on your phone or anything you open it and you now insert the profile picture it will appear finally you can edit your profile by clicking on this pen if you click it and you want to edit any of those profile you are filling you can edit them by changing them to whatever you want so those are some of the things now other things that are worth of notice the google scholar will show the number of time your article is cited that is the impact you are creating in the research community so you can see clearly from here these are the number of times these articles are cited now also you can add your co-author here are some of the co-author i have co-authored with 
they are here so they are on google scholar that is why it's appearing here now another information that is worthy of note is this uh, cite, uh, cited by that is showing here now here we have the total number of time that your article have been cited all here we have 181 since 2017 is 83 so we have h index and we have i10 index now the h index is saying the number of h time the number of time h time that your article have been cited h times so if you see here you can see this article we have one two three four five that is at least five times this article have been cited five times at least five so that is why it's showing five even though you can see five here but if we count it will be the sixth time so the moment this article is cited six the sixth time this h index will change to six then the i10 index is saying that the number of times that the paper is cited at least 10 times how many paper are cited at least 10 times so if you check here this paper is cited more than 10 times this this so there are three papers that are cited at least 10 times that is the i10 index so these are the statistics for the, your papers that are showing here now the other things that you can check on Google Scholar is my library. My library, you can save whichever paper or article you are reading, you can save it to read it later. Once you come back later, you open your library, you can read it later. The other thing here also is a, a lot. You can decide to follow maybe your, some of your uh, leading author in your field and whenever this the the drop any paper the google scholar will alert you or whenever your paper is cited the google scholar will alert, alert you so you can create the alert here another thing is the matrix so the matrix is a uh, it shows you the top publication on google scholar maybe for journals in various fields so showing the h5 index and h5 media and also you can do your settings you can do your settings when you go there you check whichever setting you do then you click on save so these are some of the basic things that you need to know on google scholar and it is very very important as a scholar to be on google scholar because in trends around the world now is that if you want to do a visiting scholar or even go to another university this citation and the h index and the i index they form part of the criteria that are used to to assess someone to appoint you to position in other university so if you enjoy this uh, content you can consider subscribing the channel. We have a lot of videos on our channel. So thanks for listening.